Hello friends, this video on body movements part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Body. So let us start with bones of upper limb. So when we just focus on the upper limb, so when it comes to upper limb, this is our upper limb. That is the hand, the entire hand. Now each upper limb is made of 30 bones. Now you might feel that 30 is a big number. So just the hand has 30 bones? Yes, it has. So let us look at the bones which are present in the upper limb. So the first part of the upper limb is arm. So this is arm. So here you just have one bone. As you can see in the picture, there is one long bone and the name of this bone is humerus. It has a rounded head. So you see here, this is the rounded head of humerus. So on both the ends, it has rounds. The second part of the upper limb is forearm. So this portion is called forearm. So when you look at forearm, it has two bones. One, two. So there are two bones. So the lateral bone is called radius and the medial bone is called ulna. So you, for now you can just say that radius and ulna, those are the two bones which are present in the forearm. The next section is the wrist. So this portion is wrist. And the wrist has eight short carpal bones. And that's little hard to believe. But when you actually look at this portion, you can see that there are small, small pieces of bones which are all joined together. So that's the wrist. And each wrist bone has a unique shape. It is not that they all the eight bones are identical. So they are all different in shapes and sizes. The next part is palm, which is which is like this portion. So this is palm and palm has five long metacarpal bones. So these are the names of the bones of each specific part. So here in the palm you have five bones and each of those bones they are like connected to each finger. I think if, if you want you can actually if you are too skinny you can actually see these bones of your palm from outside. I mean not very clearly but you can just get an idea about where these bones are because they are connected to the fingers of your hand. The th last one are uh, the fingers. Now in finger if you look at each finger you would see that they have long bones which are called phalanges and when you actually look at the five fingers you would see that the thumb has two phalanges. So if you look at you would see that when you look at thumb, it has two phalanges, that is one and two, two major, I mean two big bones. But when it comes to other fingers, everywhere you see three bones, that is one, two and three. So all the other fingers, they have three long bones, except the thumb, thumb has two bones. Now, if you want to see it for yourself, just take your fingers, Try to roll the fingers or try to curve the fingers. You will see all of these fingers, all the four fingers, they can be curled at two points, at this point and at this point. This is true for all these four fingers. But when it comes to thumb, you can just fold it at one point. So that shows that there is just one joint. That means there are two bones joined at one point. But in case of other fingers, there are three bones and those three bones are joined at two points. So for thumb it is like two bones joined like this. For all other fingers it is like three bones joined at two points. So these are the bones which are present in upper limb. So I am taking example of human beings so that you are able to understand your body well. You should know right that how many bones are present inside your body. How these bones are helping you to move. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.